What's up everyone, I'm GKB from Gamers Knows Best and today I have a great video for you. We will be walking through the Beam streaming app on the Xbox One. So let's go ahead and get into the video. So real quick, I have a disclaimer for you. This Beam app is only available for the Insider Program members currently. So if you are not an Insider, you will not have access to this app. Okay, so some of the key points we'll be talking about today is an overview of the app, how to set up the stream, and just my impressions of the app so far. So Beam is a streaming app that Microsoft has acquired. It's similar to Twitch, but does a few things differently. One, it's super low latency. You can almost instantly respond to viewers. When streaming to YouTube or Twitch, you can have a 30 second plus delay to your streams. The other cool feature is the interactive gaming, where you the viewer can actually help play the game. Now this only works with games that are supported by it right now. Streamers have used this feature for shoutouts and other things to make their streams more interactive. So it's a really cool service. Now there are a few things you need to do before you go ahead and get into the app and let's go ahead and do that now. All right, so first you wanna go ahead and get into the settings because uh, there's a couple of things you wanna do here to make sure that it's right for your stream. Okay, when you get into the broadcasting settings, there's a few things you can do. You can include the audio with the broadcast. You can turn it on and off. Game and system volume, you know, you need to adjust this so you have the proper volume level so they can hear you and you still hear the game. Um, you want to make sure your mic is turned on so everybody can hear what you're saying and you can adjust the mic volume. Also, depending on your upload speed, we have a standard and high. I've used both of these um, and they work fine with mine and I have a 20 plus, I want to say like 20 to 30 upload um, and I had no problems with either or. Now, if you have a lower upload speed, I would probably choose standard as it's probably a little bit easier on your connection. All right, so the next thing we need to do <clears throat> is get a game playing in the background before we can even start the stream. So I'm gonna go ahead and load up spheroids here. All right, so now you wanna go ahead and hit the guide button. This will bring up your guide. And now we're gonna go down to the broadcasting icon. And now you can see beam here. So then we're gonna go ahead and click on the A button. We're gonna go ahead and hit broadcast your game. Now this is not gonna start the broadcast. It's gonna get you into another menu. Um, lately, um, it's hit or miss sometimes um, whether it wants to go or not. So this is an insider program. It's still in beta and hopefully this will get fixed. Um, but I haven't had too many issues with it. Now we're into the beam broadcasting settings here. Now there's a few things we need to do before we get our stream going. So let's go ahead and get into the top part here. All right, now we can change the broadcast title. We can go to our channel, which will use the Xbox uh, Edge browser um, to go to beam. And then we have the advanced broadcast settings. Now the advanced broadcast settings we already set up in the beginning. Um, if you go to the advanced broadcast settings um, as is right now, you'll have to pretty much just start back over going into the app and setting up everything again. I don't know why that is. Hopefully they change that. Um, but when you go back, it just brings you to the home menu. So I would do that before you get into the, uh, the B map here. So we're going to go ahead and change the title. So we're doing spheroids right now, so we'll change that. Go ahead and done there. See, now it says spheroids. Now, if you don't have a Beam account, um, it will create one for you and use your gamer tag as uh, your Beam channel. Um, when I first started this, it did that for me as well, but I already have an established channel on Beam that I've been using for quite a few months now. Um, so we're going to go ahead and go through how to link um, your account, your Xbox account to Beam. So therefore, it'll use your actual channel if you have a Beam channel that you've been using for quite a while. Because if you already build up all those viewers and, and subscribers and all that kind of stuff, you don't want to start all over with a new channel. So we're going to go ahead and show you that now, and then we'll come back into the app. 
All right, let's go ahead and get into showing you how to link your Microsoft account so your Xbox uses the correct Beam page to stream from. Now, this step is only for people that have been streaming on Beam for quite a while before they started using the Xbox. All right, if you're new to Beam, it would have created a new page for you using the Xbox Beam app. Um, and I didn't have mine linked, so it created a new one for me. And as you can see right here on the, the screen, um, this is the new page that it created for me. Now, I don't want to use that. I already have a Beam page that I've been using for a few months now. So what we need to do is go to our actual Beam page, the one that we use over and over and over again. And now we need to link it to our Microsoft account. So therefore, the Xbox will use the proper page when starting a stream. Now on your Beam page, you need to go to the settings or manage channel or accounts, and then you will find it here. Now over on the side, it says link accounts. You need to click on link your Microsoft account. All right, after clicking a link your Microsoft account, it's gonna ask you to log into your Microsoft account. So go ahead and add your credentials in and then move forward. Now it's gonna say your Microsoft account is already linked to a Beam account. You wanna go ahead and click link my Microsoft account to your old channel. Then it's gonna go ahead and ask you, what do you want to do with the old Beam account? Now it's not really talking about your old Beam account, it's actually talking about the new one that was created for me, and that was the GKB. My old account is actually GKBX. <clears throat> uh, but what I'm going to do, and it doesn't really give you a choice, if you wanna link it to your Beam account that you've been using for a while, you're gonna have to delete the new one. So I had to go ahead and delete it. And then after deleting, you will see here on the linked accounts, it'll say unlink your Microsoft account. That is telling you that it is linked. And then how you would verify it is just go back to your Xbox and look on the Beam app and it should say your Beam channel that you want to use. All right, now that we've linked our Beam account, if you had one before, uh, to your Xbox and vice versa and everything's perfect and working well, we're going to go ahead and go on to the rest of these settings here. So first up, we have microphone. Uh, you want to hit the A button to turn it on and off. Camera. Now, I've tested this, and it does not use a webcams uh, or third-party webcams or anything like that. So I think the camera functionality right now is only with the Kinect. So I was not able to test that as uh, I did not have the adapter for the Xbox One S uh, with the Kinect. But that is coming in the mail, so I'm going to test that when it gets here. Uh, but you just hit the A button on and off. And going into the camera settings, you can move it in different locations. And we'll go ahead and do that now. So you can put it in all these locations. I currently have it set to that side. Then we go down to done. And we'll go back to here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and turn that off since I don't have one. Now you can turn the chat on and off. Now this is really cool as you can have your chat anywhere on the screen as well. And what's cool is everybody that's watching the stream won't see the chat, but you will. So you don't have to take your eyes off the game. It's going to be right there in front of you. And we'll go ahead and show that. As you can see down there in the image, it's in the bottom corner. And it, gets, it shows you how long you've been streaming for, you know, how many views, your mic, and webcam. Um, and again, you can put it anywhere you want, uh, according to the game. You know, you might not want it there in the corner because it's blocking something um, that you might need to see. Um, it is a transparent overlay, but it does kind of get a little wonky uh, when trying to, like if there's a mini map there, you won't be able to see it that well. Um, so you definitely want to put it in the best possible location for the game that you're playing. Uh, Alright, so we're going to go ahead and hit done here. Now that's it for chat. Now if you're in a party, um, like an Xbox party, you can turn on party audio so you can hear everybody um, in the chat. I do believe they have to turn it on. Um, they have the choice to turn it on if they want to be heard or not. So, All right, so we're going to go ahead and hit start broadcast. Um, 
we're gonna freak out a few people probably gonna get some people in the chat and being like hey what are you doing blah blah blah. but that's okay this is testing purposes um and i believe we'll be able to show the stream uh on here in the edge browser on the xbox so you guys can see that and what it looks like and all that so you want to go up here to start broadcast hit that button all right, so now, you, as you can see, we are broadcasting, and you can see the streamer's view of the game, and there you go at the bottom, it says, you know, we have our little chat, it says how many minutes we've been streaming, how many views we got, we have our mic, and our webcam is turned off. So now you would just play the game as normal, um, everybody in the chat uh, would start uh, talking and everything and the chat would come up here so you don't have to take your eyes off of the game um, so you can keep playing all right so I'm gonna go to my page and I'm gonna type in the chat just so it'll come up and you guys can see it Right, there you go you can see that the chat is working and then I'm gonna go ahead and go to the broadcast we'll go in here and then we'll go to my channel and then this will bring up the edge browser It'll bring up my stream page. All right, then we'll go to watch. <clears throat> there we go. And now you're going to see it come up. Now you won't see the game because I'm currently not streaming the game. I'm in my web browser. So it brings up this default image um, on the stream. So now we'll go back to spheroids. And as you can see, and that's about it, everybody. You just play your game, enjoy, have a good time. Um, speak to all your viewers interact so we'll go back to the beam app and then all you have to do to stop the stream is simply you can hit stop broadcast or pause broadcast so we're gonna go ahead and stop the broadcast so we don't give uh, everybody on my channel which is five people watching right now that's awesome so we'll go ahead and stop the broadcast now, I think this is a great app. Is it perfect? No, absolutely not. There's still some wonky things, some bugs. Um, you know, in doing this video, it took me uh, restarting my Xbox a couple of times uh, to get the app to start broadcasting for whatever reason. <clears throat> They're probably getting hammered right now and trying working on a bunch of things. Um, but this is part of the insider program. That's what we do. We test all this stuff, give feedback so they can make it better. Uh, for everyone when it's fully released to everyone. I like all the functionality it has with the chat overlay and the, the cam integration. That's going to be really cool. You can pretty much just do a full stream uh, right from your Xbox now. Um, it's not going to be as robust as doing it from the computer as you won't be able to do overlays and you know custom stuff uh, that you could do in OBS and other streaming applications. Uh, but that's still not bad for anyone that doesn't have a computer that can't stream. You can do it directly from your Xbox, and that's fantastic. Um, like I said before, I was not able to test um, the the camera because I don't have the Kinect adapter for my Xbox One S. So hopefully when that gets here, I'll do a follow-up and let you all know how that worked. All in all, though, I think it was a great experience that will continue to get better. If you have any questions about something we didn't cover, let me know in the comments, and I will do my best to answer them. Well, that's it, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, why don't you go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe? It would really help us out. I'm GKB from Gamers Knows Best. I will see you in the next one, and as always, take care of your fellow gamers.